coming to you from Fashion Week in New York City. I'm with South South News and we're doing fashion for development here. So exciting today here with all of the people and all the shows and all the designers. And we will be here to show you and interview and talk with all of these glamorous, glamorous designers about their fashions, about their designs, and about what they're doing for society and how they're helping developing countries. mini kill and then I have the hand embroidered sweater with the flowers, the cash person with the fox hood and then of course I have the peach tree uh, bamboo t-shirt which is my new favorite now. Uh, it's a young line just launched about uh, a few months ago. It's funny this is all I wear every single day. In the past 30 I only I wear Calvin Klein t-shirt. Now I cannot even put on my Calvin seat anymore. It's scratch. It is the most comfortable t-shirt. Really? Wow. Yes. Isn't it incredible? I could see that. Yes. Wow and it looks amazing yeah, on thank you. Thank you, thank you. And the models as well, what will they be wearing tonight? Well, tonight, they, uh, they, the collection is all about timeless beauty. It's the first time in a long, long time that I'm not uh, doing a, a designing a theme collection. It's just about timeless beauty. It's more about color, the color. I'm playing with a color palette that I don't normally play with. Like, for example, it's camel and charcoal, new and black. New is a color that I have never used in my 21 years in business. So it's something very for fun for me to play with. And then to... Since it's such a neutral uh, palette, so uh, toward the end in the evening group, I decided to lit up the runway with a pop of brilliant emerald green. So well known for your lavish fabrics. Yes. So I want to hear a little bit more about the amazing fabrics that you're doing. Yeah, this collection, half the collection is made out of Laura Piano fabric. We have an opening with Laura Piano baby camel hair coating, baby camel hair silk suiting, cashmere clouds uh, suiting, cashmere, uh, Donegal tweed, and wool herringbone all from Laura Piano. Literally, it's like half the collection are from Laura Piano, which I'm a big fan of their fabric. Even though they're the most expensive fabric in the world but they're the most exquisite and a lot of beautiful silk from France and from Italy so some and, and some beautiful hand embroidery and hand, fin, uh, hand beading I have been supporting uh, Lance Samsung Foundation for the, for three years in, uh, from 2006 to 2009. Um, in 2008 and 2009, I was a uh, top fundraiser for the foundation. 2008, I raised 286,000 off for the foundation for cancer survival, and 2009 we did 368,000. Wow. So, and but this year, what another uh, what is beautiful about the collection? You see, there are two beautiful hand smocking piece even gown pieces coming floating down the runway uh, is uh, uh, this uh, hand market is done in uh, Ma um, Mag uh, Madagascar uh, by a princess all the proceeds all the money that we uh, whatever order we play it goes to help the better woman in Madagascar so it's a great thing that I'm supporting I hope my lady will be out in force to support me and buy those beautiful gown where all the money will be going to help the better woman there Overall, the fashion industry, how do you see it contributing to society and to developing countries around the world? What is your feel on that? Well, my feel is that I hope, you know what, it, it bridge it, it, uh, the communication because everyone loves fashion. I don't know how much charity work each designer are doing, but hopefully with the fashion becomes so global, it helps put some, for me, fashion is not, not life and death. You know, hopefully what we do, put a smile on everyone's face, put a, put a, put a, put a little, inject a little happiness on, in someone's life, and uh, hopefully there's some more people uh, like me and other designers uh, can uh, help uh, use fashion, uh, our celebrity status to help with a charity around the world.